we are going to start surface areas and volumes the next chapter surface areas and volumes <coughs> the main significance of this chapter is today in most of the engineering applications either real estate business or either take any manufacturing industry to prepare one item minimum we require what are the dimensions suppose if you take if you want to manufacture a steel box with some length breadth and height then with respect to that we want to know that what is the total surface area and then how much quantity we can carry in that and then what is the requirement therefore to measure all these things surface areas as well as volumes are very much essential particularly today in our discussion we are going to start with volume surface areas as well as volumes of some solid figures first if you think about the cuboid we will take about it cuboid <coughs> cuboid generally is going to look like this <coughs> in this cuboid first thing is going to be if all the sides are equal then we are calling it as a cube in this cube first we are going to think about the lateral surface area as well as total surface area and volume lateral surface area is basically related to this l this l the base which we are calling it as a lateral surface area lsa is 4l square now we want to find out the total surface area of this one how many sides are there we will see for a cube there are six sides will be there of the same length therefore the total surface area will be total surface area will be 6 l square is the total surface area volume we require length into breadth into this height which we will take therefore this is called volume volume is equal to l cube is the volume this point we have to remember now when sides are equal we are calling it as a cube now our main interest is we want to think about the cuboid cuboid in the cuboid one is going to be the length other is going to be the breadth other is going to be considered as a height in this we are going to take into the consideration of like this in this length is different and simultaneously breadth is also going to be the different suppose if i consider this is l this is b naturally this particular portion if i consider it as a height then we want to find out the lateral surface area of this in this we are going to get lateral surface area is equal to 2h into l plus b is this is the lateral surface area total surface area we are going to get two times of lb plus bh plus hl is the total surface area of this now the volume of this one is going to be length into breadth into height is the volume of the cuboid the same manner beyond this if you take a cylinder if i take it we are going to get a cylinder for the cylinder we are going to get like this the figure this is the bottom this is the radius or this is going to be the height of this cylinder we want to think about the lateral surface area of this this is equal to 
टू टाइम्स ऑफ पाई इंटू आर इंटू हेच पाई वी विल कंसिडर इट एज ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन आर इज द रेडियस इफ द डायामीटर हेड गिवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिड्यूस इट टू दी रेडियस वी हैव टू डिवाइड द डायामीटर विथ टू नाव द टोटल सर्फेस एरिया इज ईक्वल टू टू पाई आर इंटू आर प्लस हेच दट ईज द रेडियस प्लस दिस हईट टू पै आर् इंटू आर् प्लस हेच वॉल्यूम इज ईक्वल टू पै इंटू आर् स्क्वे हेच इज द वॉल्यूम आफ दि सिलेर द सेम मैनर इफ वी थिंक अबउट द कोन कोन इफ यू थिंक अबउट इट कोन इज गोयिंग टू लुक लाइक द टाप दिस इज गोयिंग टू बी रेडियस दिस इज द हईट this is the l slant height in this case we are going to consider the lateral surface area is equal to pi rl but the total surface area equal to pi r into r plus l next one is going to be volume is equal to 1/3 pi r square h is the volume of this 1/3 pi r square h is the volume of the cone now we are going to think about the sphere suppose if i take a sphere like this this is the radius r that is the total surface area equal to 4 pi r square the next one is going to be the volume is equal to volume is equal to 4/3 pi r cube this is the volume now if i take about a hemisphere if you take it hemisphere is the half of it naturally this is going to look like this in this this is the radius r now for this lateral surface area equal to 2 pi r square is the lateral surface area this is a lateral surface area the next one is going to be 3 pi r square is the total surface area the volume is equal to half of that that is a 2/3 pi r cube 2 by 3 pi r cube now main interest is going to be pyramid or prism generally suppose if any base is a parallelogram and then it is going to look like this then this we are calling it as a prism in this case the base is going to be considered as a parallelogram and these are going to be the triangles here we have therefore volume of a pyramid is equal to volume is equal to 1 by 3 of the area of the base area of the base this is going to be considered as a height here therefore area of a base into height is the volume of the prism therefore suppose if i am thinking about or this is a volume of a pyramid if you think about it this we are calling it as pyramid suppose in case of if we are going to think about the volume of the pyramid for a right prism if you think about it that is 1/3 of right prism is the volume is the volume of the pyramid actually in this case what will happen the lateral surface these are the parallelograms these are going to be the triangular structure which we have in this chapter we are going to deal with the pyramids hemispheres this is called hemisphere now we are going to talk about the sphere cylinder cuboid cube and the cone that is we we are going to think about these volumes and areas first we will discuss about certain problems